hi guys welcome back to my channel welcome to Marty kitchen so guys today i'm going to be making a um stash i'm going to be making stash from scratch yeah yeah as yeah this is the the, the cassava i just bought it in the african caribbean shop it's called cassava it's after i peel the cassava sorry guys i have to uh, take out the the string the rope the thing that look something that look like rope in the middle so after i peel so i have to i have to take it out because if you leave that on it that might ruin your your brain blender that might so this is the cassava i just peel it and uh, i cut it in the small pieces i cut it in a small small tiny pieces so my blend to help my blender known as gari <laughs> so guys so guys i'm going to be using it to make stash yeah this is how i cut the cassava in a small small pieces yeah to help my blender yeah so i'll go ahead and wash it now yeah 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 so i will start blending guys this is the the cassava it's already washed so this is my blender my blender cup so my blender is set i'm going to put some of the cassava in my blender so i'm going to blend it badge by badge yeah i think that is enough this is my water as well so I, i'm going to add water a little bit of water into this thing okay it's okay so i'll go ahead and blend guys i already have my safety bag here this is my nuts bag the the uh, nut the bag i used to make not make i'll make so this is the, this is my cheese cloth bag yeah Let me show you guys so this is my blender i'm going to go ahead and blend it okay guys i will do this <laughs> i will do this off camera it's really so guys guys a lot of noise here my kids they are watching their movie in the living room so this is the last batch and this is the the gari gari this is the blend so you know we are going to be making a stash so for stash you need a lot of water so let me put my blender away so well, we have a lot of space here okay guys now the this is the let me mix it with my hand I'm going to mix it. This is the this is the mixture, the blended cassava. I'm going to add some water. I think I'm going to be adding more water. When I was blending it, I used a lot of water to blend it. So this is all this thing kakare. So I think it's okay like this. So what I'm going to put this is my, my safety. Let me put it this way. This is my this is the safety safety, safety bag. <laughs> English. So I'm going to take my my plate to put it. I think it's too big. Okay. Oh no no no. Like so. Just screw some inside. So guys, I'm going to. Uh, it like so press this like so 
I'm going to squeeze the water out. So this is how. Well, this is what I'm going to do to all this uh, butter here. This uh, mixture. So the one that come out of it, the shaft. I'm going to be using it for my gari. Thank you guys. Remember, this is just so first time grow in the village. We will do this sometime. Don't make a. Our mother we said no. Don't make starch. We are not going to make starch out of that gari. So we will not. Sometimes we say okay, we'll make starch out of this one. So we'll be happy and make starch. Then we'll eat a different food the next day. Mostly starch and pepper soup. I need something to put this. Uh, This is the the shaft, the gari. So I'm going to use this one to be making gari later. Yeah, like this. Yeah. So I'll continue this process. So I'll continue this process off off camera. So guys, I remember I forgot to say when you are putting this inside the bag you should be careful not to lose uh, the the one that is not sift inside the one that is uh, sift so that will rule everything you should be careful like so Guys, this place is a little bit messy right now. So this is the this is the one I've made the first batch. Uh, I think I'm going to squeeze the other the shaft. This is the shaft. I'm going to squeeze, put some water, and squeeze it again. Maybe the maybe there will be more inside. <laughs> and guys, if you want to buy this thing, it's called she's bag, she's cloth, or the or the or not not make sh uh, sift yeah because this one is for making uh, not make if you want to make almond make make or azo make uh, coconut make so this is what i use and this is the what is made for and you can use it for this process as well I think there will still be so I think there will be more something coming out of this thing. Okay, so we we'll just try. Finally, guys, this is the finished look. This is the stash. The stash is underneath. So let me put my hand inside to see what we have inside. Oh my gosh. Look at that guys. So we're going to leave this one here for till tomorrow. So tomorrow I'm going to strain out the water and then everything will settle. So tomorrow let's see what is going to happen. Mm -hmm. This is the the shaft, the the remaining the gari. <laughs> this one I'm going to leave it here for two days. I'm going to leave it here, like so. The way it is like this, I'm going to leave it for two days. So for him to ferment, I'm going to make, I'm going to allow it to ferment for two days before I fry the gari. Yes, guys. So I will show you guys. I will vlog that as well when I'm going to vlog, uh, fry it. So guys, see you guys tomorrow. Bye bye. This is the finished look of the. This is the stash. You guys can see the stash inside. This is the stash there. This one. Did you guys see that? See, this is the water. It's just tiny thing underneath. 
yeah so i'm going to take out the water drill out the water and see what we get inside i'll come back to you guys yes guys this is the stash i just take out the water so i'm going to take my spool container i'm going to be scrooping it inside this container because i'm not going to make it today see that guys it inside here before i use it so this thing you can store it in the fridge and put water on it you just store it there the way you store a cam cornstarch so you just store it there put water on it whenever you want to put make it whenever you want to make it you take it out and scrub and take the drink the water away drill out the water scoop some out then if it still remain put the red put the rest back in the fridge put water on it again so it's really compulsory you drill out the water every day every day or every two two days if not it will be smelly you know so it's really good if you if you don't want to use it right away you put it and take off be drilling off the water every day in the fridge and you can put it in the freezer as well yeah, this is just a it's not that much i think it's just two pots for just me you know it, i'm the only one that is eating it here so i will just store it in my fridge in my refrigerator before i use it Oh my gosh, this stash is really mm -hmm. yeah for me, just for me, because my kids hobby they don't eat this thing, so it just means that he's eating it. So it's enough for me for three pots. Maybe before I finish this one, I will make another one. If I have time, I will just make another one. You know? Yeah. This is how I make my stash. If you are new to my channel, this is Matilda. Don't forget to subscribe on your way out, guys. And uh, don't forget to slap the like button. Give me a like, guys, if you like this video. Bye. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye. Yeah. <laughs>